AITA for not wanting to celebrate my mom on my birthday? I have three siblings between the ages of 10 and 18. I'm the oldest fourth at 25. Every year on every single one of our birthday, we're expected to celebrate my mom as well. We've done it since we were little. It was taught to me as giving thanks for carrying plus giving birth to us, which I'm all for. I am grateful as we wouldn't be here without her. The issue is though, it becomes less of our birthday and more so an anniversary for the day our mom gave birth. Every year on our birthday our mom gets gifts too. As we got older, we're now expected to get her monetary gifts. And not cards. Or homemade stuff. Just recently was my birthday and I was gifted some much needed clothes and dishware for my new apartment. My dad however got my mom a new MacBook. My siblings all got her gifts too. My youngest brother isn't expected to give much. But my 16-year-old sister and 18-year-old second brother work so they're expected to give gifts too. My sister pulled me aside before my birthday and said she was sorry she couldn't get me much. She got me a sweater. I love it. And that she wanted to get me more but our mom was pressuring her to get a certain necklace for our mom. Apparently my mom had been dropping hints for month and my sister was worried our mom would be upset and feel underappreciated if she didn't get it. I asked how much it was. And my sister said it was $300. I honestly lost it on our mom and chewed into her later that afternoon when my mom opened her gifts. After me. I think she's ridiculous for even wanting my sister to spend so much on a gift. Mom started crying and my dad kicked me out. Mom won't answer calls but my aunt. Mom's sister. Called and said I was a poss for not respecting my mother and that I'm a selfish. Narcissist child for being jealous of the gifts mom got. I thought I was in the right. But now I don't know. It's been over two weeks and mom won't answer my calls. She's been posting on Facebook inspiration quotes about letting go of the toxicity in your life. How blood does an equal family. And how hard it is to be a mother. Several family members. Aunt. Grandma. Uncle. And two of my cousins. Are replying to the posts and are very obviously directing vague comments at me about being a. Horrible daughter. I DK what to think now because of how many people are on her side. Slash. Edit. Thank you for all your feedback. I think it's really eye-opening and I'm going to try to find a therapist so I can unload all this. Fuckery. Also. Thank you for the awards but you don't have to. If you'd feel inclined. I think it would be pretty cool to donate it instead to a cool charity of your choice instead. NTA and I've never in my life heard of such a ridiculous thing as gifts for the mother or father. For a kid's birthday. That is some narcissistic nonsense. Shouldn't your father get them too? On Mother's Day and Father's Day are they expected to give you guys gifts since you are the reason. They are parents? Maybe you should stop trying to contact them and distance yourself for a while without any contact. With your parents. Siblings clearly need your level head. Seriously. What a load of crap behavior. NTA. I'm a mom. My son's birthday is about him. I have my own birthday. I don't get to make up my own traditions to get everybody to buy me presents. Your mom sounds narcissistic and your family is weird for going along with this. It sounds like your mom uses emotional blackmail to get others to put her first. NTA however your mom though. Holy crap bucket. How the hell can you feel entitled to a $300 gift from your kid? At 18. And expecting 5 birthdays a year. Your mom and your enabling family are messed up. I would have cut them off ASAP. Maybe leave an olive branch for your siblings if they want to run at some point as well. NTA. Giving your mom gifts on your birthday isn't a normal thing. NTA so much. Your birthday and your mom got a new MacBook. A 300 necklace plus more? And she does this 4x a year plus Christmas. 
her own birthday and Mother's Day. Also why is your dad ignored here? It's shocking how awful she is guilting you all into spending loads on her so much each year. NTA. It was her choice to carry four children and give birth to them. Your mother sounds self-centered ans selfish. As far as toxicity in one's life and how blood doesn't equal family. I think you should apply that to your mother. Not to you. NTA your mother must be really raking the gifts and attention in. On top of getting to act like a martyr if ever challenged on any of it, sounds like a narcissist's paradise. I've never heard of a tradition like this. It doesn't sound at all healthy and all the worse because your mother is pressuring her kids for expensive gifts on their siblings' birthdays. All of the adults involved in supporting your mother on this must be sharing a pipe of some intoxicating, yet disturbing substance that makes you quite delusional. Pretty rich of your aunt to call you the narcissist when your mother has been taking advantage of you for to milk for more gifts and money. This is just like the parents who say their kids owe them for XYZ bullshit. NTA. And this is the weirdest thing I've ever heard of. NTA, celebrating your mom for being a mom is what Mother's Day is for. It sounds like your mom might be a narcissist. Signs of a narcissist. She constantly makes the conversation to be about her. Brags about your achievements to others. But rarely validates or acknowledges you personally. Blames others for any problems you may have that stem from her behavior is well liked and important to others but controlling and harsh when no one is looking makes you feel bad for not doing what she wants immediately makes you feel guilty by boasting about how much she does for you harshly opinionated at home but puts up a front for people she dislikes ruthless and unforgiving doing anything she can to be on top makes you feel anxious and often lowers your confidence from your story I put in italic the ones that I can easily see apply to her. You might find more support here, R, narcissistic parents or here, R, raised by narcissists. NTA your mother is a narcissist and this is absolutely not normal. Don't entertain it. NTA, this the first time I've ever heard of, gifts for the mother, on the person's birthday. So your mom gets four rounds of gifts. Plus her birthday. That is pretty demanding. Start having birthday celebrations without them going forward. Like going out with a bunch of friends instead. The fact your parents have continued it for you up to age 25 means your mom doesn't want give give. Uppy extra present day. Wow that's a lot to unpack. NTA. I'm a mom of two and their birthdays are a special day for them. Inform your mother that there is already a special day for mom appreciation. It is called Mother's Day and it is still not a valid reason to hit up your kids for super expensive. Gifts, cash. NTA. Your mom sounds like a narcissist and is projecting. She sounds like she's got everyone on eggshells and is gaslighting them. Maybe you should let go of the toxicity of her behavior. Info How was this portrayed to the rest of the family? Did they just hear you yelled at your mom that she doesn't deserve her gifts or did they hear that your 16Y sister was expected to spend $300 for mom's gift on your birthday? Is this normal in your extended family? I don't really care if your dad gives a gift but it seems messed up to have to give one to your Mom on your sibling's birthday. Plus $300 as a teenager is fucked up. The only people I would spend that much on are my kids and then it isn't a guarantee. For her birthday. Just give her a card and then give your grandma a nice present. Start asking your aunts, uncles what they bought for their parents on their sibling's birthdays. NTA and your mom gets the most selfish mother of the year award. NTA. I've never heard of a mom stealing their kid's birthday like this. I'm very sorry this happened. 
But your mom seems to have set up a universe that's all about her and now she gets five birthdays. Instead of one. NTA. WTF is wrong with your family? Why would you thank your mother for giving birth to you? You didn't ask to be born. And it is very shitty to ask your younger siblings. Who probably don't earn much at their jobs. To buy such expensive gifts. NTA. There's a day for your mom and it's called Mother's Day. She's a piece of work and needs to learn that she made the choice to have you not the other way. Around. You owe her nothing on your birthday. So does your family also celebrate you and your siblings on Mother's Day? Because y'all made her a mother? And why isn't it mentioned that you celebrate your father on your birthdays as well? Because obviously he took part in making you. Your mom sounds like the person that needs to be in the spotlight all the damn time at all costs. Or do you all do this only for your mother? You're NTA for obvious reasons. Celebrating your mother on your birthday and giving her more expensive gifts than you got is total. Bullshit. If I were you, I would just stop participating. NTA. This is one of the most WTF things I've ever heard. I get you're grateful to your mom for carrying and birthing you. But you didn't ask her due to it. She made that decision with your father. I would be putting a stop to the gifting to her on yours, sibling's birthday. The fact she pressured your younger sister for a $300 necklace? The thoughtful gift you got her was dumped in the draw? No. That is not okay. That is entitled and bratty behavior. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Aircast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.